all right everybody welcome back we're here at the canal i actually haven't had any luck at this canal lately so uh we're giving it another try we have corn we have chicken liver and we have some worms so let's see if we can catch hopefully we can catch something but uh we'll see all right first rod is gonna be some corn that has been marinated in some kool-aid uh-oh that's slipping that's not good but hopefully when it matters it doesn't slip we'll go here this canal is a little deeper than most canals i'm not going to be using all these rods obviously i'm just going to kind of pick what i'm going to use next we're going to get a worm out and uh, kind of put it over here to the side and see if we can get a bite My drag is slipping. My drag is slipping. My drag is slipping. Oh my God. Slipping drag is not a good thing. Jeez. <laughs> Swimming towards me now. Don't tell me he got off. No, he's swimming towards me. I have not seen him quite yet. We were just waiting and waiting. Just waiting. Oh. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one for sure. Oh, he just fights so hard in here, guys. I'm glad I actually hooked this one on a. Uh, a decent rod and not on my ultralight again oh that's a nice one man that is a nice fish get my phone off the ground here this is the one time i do wish i had my net jeez oh yeah oh yeah maybe even closer to like 15. Wow, you guys tell me. I'm holding them right up against my body right now. Wow, that is a fat, healthy carp right there. First one of the day, let's let them go. I'm gonna say close to 14 pounds, maybe 15 or so. Wow, that was cool. Oh, look at that. Cruise is right back down there. We broke the skunk, baby. Let's get another one. Let's get a bigger one. All right, guys, no more luck here after that first fish. You can see a spillway up there, and uh, there is water coming out of it. So we're going to see if there's any fish stacked up over there. Let's get everything packed up and walk down there. So this ought to be interesting right here. See if there's anything hanging out right below this canal spillway. We're gonna get our chicken liver in there first while we get our carp rod rigged up. We may even switch to worms also, but we're just gonna get this one in for now. This goes here. All right, next rod going out. Same corn that we caught the first carp on. There. All right, and while that's soaking, I'm gonna get my worm rod rigged back up because I broke it off, unfortunately. Well, that just happened and our big camera died jeez feels like a good one he's like on shore over there guys spillway let's go spillway fish so much more fun when you get them this way since we don't have the big camera rolling we'll just go down there and grab them oh my goodness i have not seen him yet fish in this spillway too. They need to come down here. Oh, he just popped off right there. Dang it. 
he wasn't that big i ain't gonna cry about it get our carp rod back out get some worms out see if we can catch some more fish time for a worm night crawler and a jig head we're gonna literally put it like right in here really? probably start by doing that just drag it into there got one got something I don't know what this is, but we got him. Oh, he's jumping kind of. I'm thinking maybe bass. Maybe bass. Oh, I haven't seen him yet. Jeez. <laughs> I'm gonna need to bring him to those stairs that I was at before because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to land him here. Oh. Yes, baby, that's what we wanted. He is barely hooked. I think I can get him from here, but he might pop off. I'm gonna need to be really careful though because I know the ground is slippery. That was a battle right there. Something other than a carp in the spillway right here. That's awesome. Well, two carp and a bass down. Knew there was gonna be something else down there. Well, where there's one, there's usually more. So let's see if we can get another one there, guys.